Hey, and we're back. Uh, we're going to play a live game, uh, see how we do. We've been doing alright. I'd say my win ratio has been like 50% or so. So without further ado, uh, we'll get right into it. Uh, as per usual, I'll try to talk my way through my thoughts and ideas. Uh, the original goal here was to help myself be a better chess player. Okay, 1676. But I'm starting to realize, like, maybe it'll be helping some other people out there with their uh, chess if uh, they watch some different players. Especially, you know, I'm no, no expert, so I'm kind of your average player. And, you know, it's nice to watch someone actually struggle, unlike these title players. I mean, they have their moments, mind you, but... All right. So obviously I'm in some sort of English. Now my plan is to fianchetto this bishop. And actually I want to kind of do a Botvinnik setup depending on what black does. But I like the idea of pushing this, this, knight here, and castle. That's kind of stage one. So let's go for it. Now right here, this is signifying he's fighting for d5 right away. So I'm going to push this. And usually move fourth, five throws throws black off. They're not used to that. Most people aren't. Uh, find this opening is pretty solid. There's a few variations of it I don't like so much, but he might Fianchetto hit Fianchetto his bishop. Fianchetto or Fianchetto? What's funny is is years ago, like 15 years ago. I always said Fianchetto, but it is Fianchetto, I believe. As per usual, I got my own tunes in the background. Um, I've been writing and recording my own music for probably 20 years, so... After this chess game, I'm going out to buy the new God of War. I am so excited to play it. Heard it's pretty good. And then, yeah, I work all weekend. So, I won't be really playing chess all weekend. I'll have uh, these videos you probably won't see until the weekend. I'll be uploading them probably Saturday, Sunday this game. Okay, I'm curious what... Uh, yeah, Black is either searching through my game database... Or he's making a decision. So the immediate push for d5, we have to capture it. And this is kind of going into the territory I don't like. So now, if he recaptures... We're going to develop our dark square bishop, and we're going to let him take that knight if he wants to. That's okay. And then I'm actually going to push d4 now in this position. So in this position, what might end up happening is he takes, I take, he develops his bishop, and I push d4, he takes, so yeah. Or it can happen in this move order, yeah. So I take, he goes here, I push d4, he takes, I take, and now I'm playing with an isolated queen pawn, which I'm not a big fan of. So this is not my typical preferred. This is when my Botvinnik English turns into something I'm not very familiar with and or not, you know, not very fond of. There's nothing Botvinnik about this. It's like 
very, very open, almost turns into, sometimes black captures with the queen even instead of the knight on d5, and it almost turns into like Scandi type territory, which I, I'm i not familiar with at all. So now I'm gonna push, he takes, I take, well, let's see here. I push, he takes, I take, he takes, he's up two pawns. So in this position, I don't want to block in my light square bishop, and I don't want to go here. I actually want to prevent this pin. And it seems like a, a waste of time in the opening, but I think it's called for here. And if I go here and then he goes here trying to hop in, then I push d4. So we're going to do it because I want my knight here to support the d4 push. Now he may go here. If he goes there, He's got to watch out for... We're going to get castled. He might castle. We got a castle. You know, I might even reposition these pawns on the light squares. I don't know. I might push d3. Maybe even before I castle. Especially if he goes here. I may push d3. before I castle. We'll see. I got some tactics of... Uh... Yeah, we'll see. My opponent's playing very well, taking me kind of out of my comfort zone, for sure. The queen coming here would be interesting. That stops all my ideas of playing. Yeah, I might play d3 right away. So what if I castle and he goes there? Because what I don't want to happen. Yeah, no, I think we're going to push this right away. It also gives our, lets our bishop out. I just don't like the idea of the queen coming down on that square and just cramping me. And if he ever pushes this, I actually will probably push d4 now. I don't know. Tough to say. But I gotta get castled for sure. See, this move came in handy.
So, I'm curious what the engine says. I bet you it's fairly equal, but if I had to pick a side, I like black better here. Sure this game's actually showing up cool the timers aren't working though dang it and neither is the usernames there we go what about the moves list yeah my bad folks pretty new to this kind of stuff anyway I had a video not long ago where my the board froze and I didn't even know until the very end and I, I went to go upload it to YouTube and the whole game was missed. <laughs> so at least the board's been working. Okay. Yeah, oh. I didn't actually consider that. Now that really screws me. I did not think about that. I might have to lose this light square bishop now and go into a queen trade that I don't like. So I have two options here only. I can't see another way out. Push D4. He takes. I take. He takes. I take. He can take. Yeah, this is bad. I screwed that up. D3 was a mistake. That sucks. So I have to think of a way out of this because I don't want to lose the game. I like I feel like resigning right now, just so we're clear. Like this is stupid, but this is when chess sucks. Is when you know you've lost the game and you just keep playing it, and it's this long drawn out death that you've known about for 20, 30 moves. It's frustrating to finish it. Like what's the point? But we're going to take away a defender of d4. So I feel like we push d4. We let him take with the pawn. We give up this light square bishop. He recaptures. We recapture. He retreats his bishop, and we castle. And I hate that I have to give up the light square bishop, but we have to now because we screwed this up. Yeah, I'm not happy about that. That sucks. Big time. Now, if he doesn't, I'm okay with losing two pawns. Like, if he recaptures here. Yeah. Now I have this isolated queen pawn. This is not good for me, but. I did not. Your best piece in the English, especially the this style, is your light square bishop. And I just gave it up for a knight. 
on its first developing square. But technically the material is even, but black is much better here. I'm not even castled. He's got both bishops out. He's got the bishop pair. And bishop pair, and I don't even have my being kettled bishop anymore, so. Yeah, we gotta get castled. And then we gotta decide what we're doing with our dark square bishop. Now we could do this check. that would just help me develop. This is protecting the pawn. Got to prepare myself for a loss this morning. He's deciding on the check. Or he's deciding here, I bet. square bishop is a monster on this board and it's gonna be a tough game to win and it's probably not very likely but we gotta get castle that's for dang sure All out of coffee. Yeah, I have to learn to play these positions better. I'm very badly bad with them. Obviously, you can tell d3 was a very poor choice. Should have castled. If we go back, yeah, if we go back. There's a move I didn't expect. Well, I can't give up the rook. So let's castle. Now I have ideas of going here. He's gonna have to move his bishop. Holy hell, I'm getting... 
Get messaged up the wazoo here. Okay. His light square bishop is a monster and it's our own fault, but. We, I like how I'm including you in my decision making. The only chance, of, yeah, so. And then I think what we gotta do is tack this light square bishop, cause it is a monster. Now, if he takes the pawn, I know I left the pawn undefended, but if he takes the pawn, I'm going to take that bishop for free. Oh, I can't. I missed a, another tactic. Missed another tactic. I'm going to resign. Yeah, if he sees it, I'm resigning. Can't play chess today. So this is the tactic. He takes, I can't take back. Because then my rook falls. But then maybe I trade two minor pieces for... Yeah, so he sees it. He sees it. He sees it. So if I go here, he takes, I can attack his rook, but then his rook can attack my knight. Yeah, I'm about to resign just so everybody knows, so takes takes threaten the rook rook moves to attack my knight oh man this is fucking stupid here he takes I attack his rook. Now he could even trade queens. Let's say he trades queens. Moves the rook. Then maybe he wouldn't move the rook. Well, let's just do it. It's a resign anyway, so. I just gave up the center pawn, or do we play it smarter? Bishop back.
Screw it. <laughs> I resigned this game in my head long ago. Lost this game on... What move was it? Move 11. That's where I lost. Right there. D3. Now I have to decide. Well, I threw him into a bit of a pickle. The Merlin will get ya. <laughs> uh, I'm not out of the woods. Black's so much better here. So we're not, this isn't Merlin territory yet. If I win this game, that's Merlin magic for sure. Merlin mustache magic. But the chances of that are very low. My only hope is he runs out of time. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, material wise, if I can pick up this trade and like, you know, get her all even, then the only thing he really has an advantage on me is a pawn. And, you know, maybe I can hold it off to a draw. We'll see. He's playing very, very well. He's a nearly 1700 rated player, so... I wouldn't expect anything less. This is why you don't resign, though. You gotta put up a fight before you resign. Like, as frustrating as it can be to take a game that's losing the entire way to its conclusion of losing, that's never fun, but... I've had some crazy games on here where guys have blundered their queens and stuff, and especially I got a knight bouncing around here. Knights are tricky. Knights uh, screw people up sometimes, so. Okay, so we saved... Saved that. So we gotta take the rook and get our points back. So what's probably gonna happen is we're gonna take... We're gonna take, oh my god, my phone's gotta shut the hell up. I'm gonna take, he's probably gonna swap queens. So is there better? I don't really see better. So I'm losing this night, no matter what. So this is what I'm gonna do. We're going after this pawn. Wait a minute. Why can't we pin this bishop? He's got no checks. He probably would go here. Oh, he can't. So he's gonna defend it, and we attack the pin. 
Oh, but then he can get out of it. Okay, so let's just look at this. Here, here. Here, and he gets out of the pin. So I don't like that at all. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Here, here. And you cannot push that pawn because of this check. So you try to move the king so that you can prepare it, but now his bishop's protected and he can leave the pin. So it doesn't work. So what if I go here and he goes there? Let's bait him by preparing this pin. So like, what if we went here? We're gonna stop this crap. We're gonna go here, let's do it. The pin doesn't work, it's unfortunate. So I do have ideas of going here, if he goes here. And then he may go here, and then I can go here, opening up an attack on the bishop, right? Okay, so if I go here, he'll go here, but then I go here, and how does he defend both pawns? Even if he trades, trades, hmm. I don't like this past pawn. We're going to get a little more involved here. But yeah, no, if I go here, he can go there. So I think we're just going to stop it all. push our a pawn we're gonna get our king closer into the game this is a thing now yeah we're gonna do this
Now he might have tried to attack my rook. Yeah. So it's on a light square. Now you usually don't want to put your pawns on the same square as his bishop. But. God, that is annoying. Fucking people. Okay, anyway. Part of me wants to block this all off. So if I go, yeah, I'm doing it. Because now I have this. I gotta really calculate this here. He would love to get in here.
So he, he ain't going anywhere. Think about this carefully. If I go here, there's no checks. Yeah, let's do it. Good thing I pushed that pawn earlier. Now I'm threatening this. gonna take this pawn next and threaten this check yeah I'm gonna threaten this this and then the check so that way he can't protect both pawns he better put his rook back if he doesn't put his rook back, I have a tactic to win a pawn. So he can either protect this pawn or he can protect this pawn, but he can't protect both. So he's decided to protect that pawn. And now I'm threatening this. And picking up this pawn too. Now do I get greedy? I could go here, takes, takes, and then I could try to promote this pawn and go eat this pawn up. So big decisions here. Check. He's probably going to go there. But if he doesn't, if he goes there, takes, he gets this check.
Okay, so let's look at this more carefully. Check, here, takes, check. No, I don't like it. I almost want to go for the trade, I think. Okay, well, let's see here. If I go here and he takes, takes, Now we can push that pawn. No, now he can go there. And then I can push. Hmm. Check here takes check. Here takes takes. No, check, takes. Now I'm dealing with his past pawn, crap. We're even right now, so let's, let's eat up some pawns. No! No! I missed the bishop! Damn it! I'm a fucking loser. You see how much of a fucking loser I am?